You know, you'll devastate people if you have to, to get that end result. The pressure that a union buster puts on the workplace, the intensity of a campaign, because the campaigns are daily events of, 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 of saturation and distortions and, and overwhelming people, uh, confusing people, uh, that you get people to their breaking points. I had one particular campaign at a major coal mine in the southern hills of Ohio in Appalachia uh, where an individual was pushed to the point of uh, going crazy, stepping over the line and actually uh, shooting up a satellite office. Uh, no human was injured, but I mean he shot out windows and, and destroyed office equipment. Just uh, uh, he was pushed to the brink. Uh, but uh, other illustrations, uh, a union buster in his process uh, develops on, uh, background profiles on every employee in that workplace uh, and those background profiles uh, are developed through interviews with supervisors where we learn about the employees day-to-day -day activities and their work habits they're certainly developed from from personnel files but the union buster does not stop there uh, given that we have an open war chest uh, we garner information in terms of their credit histories uh, any criminal history that may exist, any substance abuse history, uh, family history, domestic uh, history. We come to learn more about the individuals uh, within that workplace than some of those individuals care to remember about themselves. And the reason for uh, assimilating all that information is to find ways uh, to create divisive mechanisms perhaps pit a religion against a religion, a race against a race, a department against a department simply by learning certain personality quirks or to set people up. Sometimes you have people who are so influential in the workplace for the union and they have impeccable work records that you have to find some other way to rip them down. And a couple, three examples of that might be uh, if I had a union activist uh, who was hurting me because of his effectiveness and was tireless, uh, every day he was, he was promoting his union, uh, he was credible, every night he was making house visits to bargaining unit employees to further reinforce the importance of the union, uh, but he was also a married man with a family but very dedicated to his union cause. One night while he was out house calling and promoting his union, uh, his wife might get a phone call around 10 o'clock at night f from an anonymous voice uh, suggesting that he or she was a friend uh, and wanting uh, Mary, the union activist wife, to know that if Mary thought that John was out uh, doing house calling and union business, that the only house call he's been making was to Virginia's house uh, and even though the spouse trusted her husband uh, and believed in his work and conviction the seed of doubt was planted enough that when he came home all of a sudden over time he started to lose his focus because there was just enough pressure on him to take him away from his intensity and more extreme we might discover that an employee with an impeccable work record and credibility in the workplace had somewhere in his or her past uh, a criminal history, maybe as a young person, a petty theft, but it was on his record. Uh, that individual at the end of his shift uh, might go out to the parking lot, uh, open his car door, and find sticking out from under a floor mat some very expensive company property. And lo and behold, within 10 feet of this vehicle as the employee opened his door would not be one but two supervisors or supervisorial personnel so that there was a witness times two uh, to the exposure of this uh, company property. And because most, if not all, employers have within their policy that if uh, an employee uh, steals company property, it's not only grounds for immediate discharge, but the company uh, has an obligation to call in the authorities and report it as well. So to eliminate the effectiveness of this union activist and to hopefully discredit him as well, 
uh, he's brought into the Human Resources Department, and he's, uh, he's told, well, even though he knows he's been set up, that, well, you know, you're caught red-handed. You know, you, you can't really explain that away. You're caught with the goods. But we know we're going through this, this labor conflict right now, and a lot of people's emotions are out of hand. And we also know, Mr. Employee, you know, that you have a, a prior criminal record. And if we bring in the authorities, you know, it, it's not going to help your future. So being a sensitive company as we are, uh, if you'll tender your resignation uh, immediately, uh, we'll overlook that part of our policy that necessitates calling the authorities. And the same scenario might be set up uh, if a person's background uh, exposed that they at one time had a substance abuse problem. And perhaps they had lockers to store their personal belongings when they went to work. That employee might go to his or her locker at the end of their shift. Uh, and as they, after, as they opened it, uh, teetering from the top shelf would be a couple of bags of white powder that would fall as the door opened onto the floor. And lo and behold, by sheer coincidence, not one but two supervisors again were within uh, six to ten feet from the occurrence. And the same uh, process would evolve. Uh, it's very common in union busting uh, to sabotage company equipment or to vandalize the vehicles of anti-union employees and then for the company to come forward uh, through a communication and say this is typical union behavior we regret it happening uh, there are even some companies that will not only uh, attack it and obviously imply that it was the the work of the union uh, but then to be a benevolent employer offer the the victims uh, the victimized employees company funds to repair the damage to their property. Uh, uh, in fact, today, uh, because union busting has become a highly specialized field, uh, the old Pinkerton concept that was around when union busting was billy clubs and, and, and uh, bats and, and uh, weapons uh, before it, it made its transition to the briefcase and eventually the laptop, uh, that's now come back, and there are private security firms who specialize in labor situations uh, who are the culprits that lead to these violent or, or, or vandalism or acts of sabotage uh, to create the illusion that it's the union. Getting back to the money part of the equation, what kind of budget were you afforded when you were trying to defeat a union? We, we set fees uh, that were thousands of dollars a day or hundreds of dollars an hour plus expenses. Uh, and that in and of itself was significant. But we had access to an open war chest. And once the campaign process got underway, if we had to take actions or create situations uh, beyond what our fees were, uh, whatever we needed, whatever we wanted, was put at our disposal, no questions asked. When you hire a hitman, when you bring in a hired gunner or a terrorist, you tend to turn the other way uh, and let them do uh, whatever their misdeed is. Well, it, it, in, with that in mind, uh, as it relates to surveillance of employees, what kind of a budget did you have to hire private detectives and to uh, research these employees who were uh, union activists? Whatever it took. And, and the bigger the company, uh, uh, the more that w was at stake number-wise, control-wise, uh, the, the more vast uh, and bottomless was the war chest. And as high-tech continues to become higher and higher tech, uh, the ability of today's union busters uh, to go anywhere um, is beyond even my own imagination. Have you been involved in any uh, electronic surveillance of employees on uh, on any of the properties that you worked? Well, again, I stepped away from my former field 10 years ago. And although there was still sophisticated technology, uh, it wasn't refined to the point where uh, I employed it personally. Uh, but I did, on a more basic uh, 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 platform, uh, bug rooms, uh, uh, I'll give you one example, and this goes